Oh, thank you so much for coming in early, Dr. Hartman. Oh, no problem. Hell, I used to work here. What? Good news. Stewie's hand looks fine. Oh, hey, high five. Huh. As long as you're here, I see Stewie hasn't had his vaccinations yet. Should we take care of that? Well, I suppose so. Oh, but first, I'm required to have you read this pamphlet about the risks of vaccinations. God, you are aging so rapidly. Possible side effects. Fever, severe allergic reaction, muscle and joint pain. Wait, and this can't be right. They actually put some of the disease in the shot? Hey, man, how many questions your lady ask? Uh, like a million? Well, I don't remember having to read any of this when Chris and Meg had their vaccinations. Well, that was before internet chat rooms made everybody an expert. It's a better world now. I don't know about this, Dr. Hartman. We might need a little bit of time to think this over. Yeah, because we don't want to make a big mistake. Like when I peed next to the chatty guy. Hey, man, we should get out of here. The building's on fire. Hey, pal, not now. I'm busy. Anyway, I'll tell you what's on fire. My urethra. That's the last time I go to a water park, I'll tell you that much. Well, that's not completely true, because I have a group on, and I'd hate to waste it. Plus, the truth is, the kid... Oh, my God. I was the chatty guy. Hey, you guys, is that my laptop? Yeah, sorry. We were looking something up. We were gonna get Stewie vaccinated, but now, after our research, we're definitely not. Oh, no, Lois, don't tell me you fell for all that anti-vaxxer crap. It's not crap, Brian. There's a lot of evidence to suggest there's a link between vaccinations and autism. Lois, all that so-called evidence has been debunked. Listen to some of these ingredients. Mercury, thimerosal, aluminum, formaldehyde. Lois, deciding not to vaccinate Stewie is something that affects all of us. The only reason they work is that if a critical mass of society gets immunized, then the diseases won't spread. Look, Brian, I was skeptical, too, but then I did some research, and I found some very interesting things from the leader of the anti-vaccination movement, Jenny McCarthy. See? Proof. Hard to argue with that. And look at this one. Glasses. Case closed. I can't believe you guys. Don't you realize you're contributing to a potential public health disaster by not vaccinating your child? That's exactly the point. My child. He's my child, and nothing matters more than his well-being. Oh, God, this is going to be a Lewis story, isn't it? Game of Thrones is on, just a reminder. Yeah, we made this mistake before. We got the other kids vaccinated, but Meg still got chicken pox. Dad, this is acne. Girl, you nasty. You realize the vast majority of people think you're wrong. Well, maybe that's the problem. We just gotta change their minds. We're getting this town to change its mind about vaccinations. Yeah, I'm with you. Just as soon as I finish getting the word out about the one thing more important. The brothers who made the Matrix are ladies now. They're ladies! Just one of them? That's the thing! It's both of them! What are the chances? What are the chances? The brothers who made the Matrix are ladies now! Peter, I've got all the stuff for our anti-vaccination rally. I don't believe this. It's bad enough you guys aren't vaccinating Stewie. Now you're trying to convince other people to make the same reckless choice? I'm also going to pet a bunch of dogs without asking. Don't do that. We don't like that. Then I'm going to try and look at their teeth. Brian, all we want is for parents to have the choice, because parents know what's best for their kids. I hear Sansa finally shows boob in this one. You do realize they're putting your life in danger by not getting you immunized. You could get measles, mumps, rubella, whooping cough. Oh, my God, are you serious? Very serious. Even the tiniest germ could make you very ill and left untreated kill you. Really? I'd expect this kind of thing from the fat man, but not Lewis. Although she did act like a nutcase that time she went shopping right before Thanksgiving. Ready for turkey day? Ha <laughs> ha, clever. Don't eat too much turkey tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I won't. Now, if only the meal would cook itself, huh? <laughs> Parents of Quahog and weekend dads playing three minutes of catch. Do you know that the number of childhood vaccines has tripled in the last generation? And why is that? Because heartless corporations make billions of dollars by foisting garbage and poison upon our children. We demand that these vaccines be tested by independent researchers, not by the companies who make them. Excuse me, are you the lady selling the bullhorn? What? No. I'm over here! Ugh, damn it. This doesn't seem to be working. Well, obviously. What the hell? 
Peter, is that you on TV right now? Oh, yeah, that's my anti-vaccination PSA. Hi, I'm a medical guy, and I'm here to give you the facts about Vax. Fact. Vaccinations cause autism, paralysis, and even death, 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 death. Fact. Vaccinate rhymes with masturbate. Would you let a doctor do that to your kid? Fact. I still think Michelle Williams is Carrie Mulligan. Fact. Medical delivery for badass karate doctor. Ah, yes, those must be the bones and skulls. I see no boob bones. The victim was a man. Wow. Oh, yeah! Say no to vaccines. Paid for with Meg's College Fund. Lois, look! I don't know if he can hold on much longer. We gotta get him down. Stewie, hang on! Mommy's coming! Oh, no! Upside down train! Sean Penn? That's right. Two-time Oscar winner Sean Penn. What are you doing here? I'm bringing vaccines into your quarantine town. Anytime there's a public health crisis in a third world land, I'm there. Third world? This is Rhode Island. Oh, really? Have you seen some of the delis on Federal Hill? Oh, Rhode Island slam! Oh, I like you, Sean Penn. Homosexual. Yeah. All right, well, I'll take my son now. I've brought enough vaccines for your whole town. I hope you realize that vaccinations are not a freedom of choice issue. They're a public health issue. Thanks to them, countless serious diseases, mumps, polio, smallpox, and rubella have been all but eradicated. Like clean water and functional schools, vaccinations are a human right. Right, just what I needed, a lecture from liberal Hollywood. This whole thing has been a lecture from liberal Hollywood. Well, it's a relief that everyone's been vaccinated and the quarantine has been lifted. Well, I'm just happy that Stewie is healthy and only 150 people died, but not anyone we knew personally. Yeah, I know. I sure learned something. Hey, do you like apples? Yeah. Well, I got her number. How do you like them apples? Oh, Bat Damon, you got the best of me again.